Welcome to the Bivok. This is your play along tutorial on how to play the game of spoons. To play this game, you're going to need two standard decks of 52 cards and one spoon for every player that you have, minus one. If you have a large group of people, more like seven, eight plus, then you're going to want to add additional decks beyond these two. Um, you can add really as many decks as you want in this game. There's no real limit. The minimum here is two. Uh, but you can add as many as you want. In general, you're going to want to add at least one deck for every four players that you have. Okay? To start the game off, you're going to decide one person as the dealer. The dealer is going to take all the cards, shuffle them together, and deal each player four cards. So shuffle these up, deal each player four. I'm going to play four players in my hand game, but you might have more. The dealer is then going to place the remaining deck to the right of them. Okay, and that'll be the third draw pile that they will draw from. Before we continue, make sure that every player has a reach to the center of these spoons. If a player can't really reach these very well, they're going to be at a severe disadvantage for the rest of the game. Go ahead and make some shuffles now if you need to adjust yourself. Other than that, everyone should look at their four cards. And the first step you should look at is whether or not you have four of the same rank. Okay? Four jacks, four kings, four queens, four eights, four threes, four of any of the same card. Okay? If you have that, you have to toss your hand back and draw a new set of four cards. Okay? You're not allowed to start with a four of a kind. Uh, none of my players started with a four of a kind, but that's what you would do. Okay. This is a game that has no turns, which means you can play as fast as you can. What you're going to be doing is you're going to be taking the discards of the previous player's turn, seeing if you want them, and then discarding the cards you don't want. And we'll go around the circle like that. Okay? Keep in mind in this game, you're hunting for a four of a kind when you're playing. But don't forget... The primary objective in this game is not to get four of a kind. It is, in fact, to get a spoon. At the beginning of the game, the spoons are locked. In order to unlock the spoons, somebody has to get a four of a kind. Four of the same rank. Once one person gets four of the same rank, the spoons are unlocked for everybody. Anybody can take a spoon, seize it in their hand. One person will be left without a spoon because you don't have enough for everybody. That person is the loser of the round. Let's see how the game works. Let's start the first card. The dealer will have a deck beside them. Dealer, your player one as well. Take the top card of the discard pile, of the remaining draw pile that you have here, okay? And look, take a look at it and decide if you want it. Keep in mind, you're trying to get four of the same rank. If you do want it, you can replace it with one of your cards. You're not allowed to ever have more than five four cards in your hand at a time. So you'll add an extra card in and you'll toss one out so you only have four cards left in your hand. Whichever card you decide to discard, whether it's the one you just drew or a different one from your hand, you'll then pass that to the player to your left. Go ahead and do that now. Player to the left, your player number two, you'll take the discards of the first player and you'll look at them and decide if you want that card. And the same thing, if you want it, you can replace with one of your cards and discard the other, or you can just discard the card that you don't want that you just drew up. You're only ever allowed to look at one card at a time. So as more cards will get piled up later in the game, you're not allowed to look at more than one. Player number three, you should have a card next to you now. Player number three, take a look at that card. If you want it, you can replace it. If you don't want it, you can pass it on. Player number four, take a look at that card. If you want it, you can replace it with one in your hand. If you don't want it, you can pass it along. Now, in my situation, I got back to the dealer. If you get back to the dealer, then you'll just start a separate pile aside from the draw pile that he already has. The dealer has to exhaust the entire draw pile before they start going from the discards of the player of the last player. But you might have more players. If you have more players, you can continue passing that one card to make sure everyone knows, understands the understanding of the game. Or you can just go ahead and start now. 
Once you begin, there are no turns. Keep that in mind. So the dealer is going to be going as fast as they so please. They're going to take a look at the card, put it down, and they're not going to wait for anybody else to draw the next card and take a look at it. If they don't want it, they can throw it down and they're going to keep going and they're not going to take a care about the next player in line and how fast they are drawing cards. Okay. Same thing for the next player. They're going to draw cards at will, and then they're going to toss them off to the side. Okay, if they don't want them, and keep going and keep going. It's going to go around the circle. You don't have to wait for any cards to get anywhere. You can just go and pick up and draw one card at a time and keep going as fast as you can. This is a game of speed, trying to get as many cards um, past yourself as you can and trying to get find that four of a kind. Once again, once one player has four of a kind, let's see if I can get a four of a kind real quick. Once one player has four of a kind, uh, I'm going to just cheat this real quick, okay? The center is unlocked. Again, you can seize a spoon, all right? And the last person left without a spoon is the loser of the round, okay? That is the entirety of the game of spoons. So you'll take cards, draw them, looking for four of a kind. Once one person gets four of a kind, you pick up the spoons, okay? Once you get there, we'll go into the scoring, but... And we'll continue the video after you finish your first round. All right? Ready? Get set. Go. All right, welcome back. Here's how scoring works. In my case, the dealer was the one left without a spoon. In this game, whichever player is left without a spoon gets one letter. Okay? Now, you can spell whatever letter you want. Traditionally, you, play, you spell the word spoons, and once you finish the word, then you're out. But you can kind of tweak that depending on how many lives you want to give people, how many, how much health. Okay, so traditionally it's the word spoons, but you might go something sort of like pig if you want to play a shorter game. Or if you want to be really brutal, you can just skip this step entirely and say if you didn't pick up a spoon, you're just out of the game. No lie, no extra lies. Uh, tough. Once you score, the dealership moves to the right one card. Some people people think you can say move to the left. Honestly, you can go whichever way you want. I think it's more interesting if you play to the right. Um, so the player to the right then becomes the new dealer. Um, but, but you can kind of pass the dealership. Either way, just pass the dealership some way. But I like to play passing it to the right. So go ahead and pass that dealer to the right. And then that dealer will shuffle all the cards and deal out the new round. And you'll keep playing until you have one person left. And that player is the winner. Um, a note, some people like to play, including myself, that once you get down to two players, you call it there and just declare two winners, because um, two players in the game of spoons is a little bit um, shaky. Uh, but that is your personal preference of whether you want to continue playing with two players or not. That is the game of spoons. Good luck.